Well, we all know and love Lori Allen as the star of TLC's Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta, filmed on site at her salon, Bridals by Lori. I spoke with Lori and her daughter Molly about how they're doing amid the coronavirus pandemic and what advice they have for couples who have been forced to cancel or postpone their special day. Take a look. Hello, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you both doing? Molly, let's start with you. Yeah, I'm doing awesome. Things have been a little bit crazy with the coronavirus. I'm a mom to two little ones, and I was not meant to be a homeschool mom, let me tell y'all. <laughs> but we're surviving and excited that summer is finally here. And Lori, how are you doing amidst this pandemic? It's been really interesting. I mean, we've had to find the new normal for retail in our store. And it has really been a challenge for us because, as you know, bridal is a shopping experience where you touch people and, and encourage them and look at their facial expressions. And we've just had to change everything, everything. Lori, you have Bridals by Lori, and a lot of weddings have been postponed, canceled. Yes, what advice do you have for couples, brides specifically, who have had to postpone or cancel their weddings? What's your piece of advice for them? Most of our brides have postponed them, and a lot of them have opted for smaller ceremonies at home, still, wor still wearing their bridal gown, getting a great bouquet, having their family members with them, and then they're going to do a large reception later. I've had that happen a lot. Um, as far as people totally postponing their wedding, I say get another date. I mean, we've got to have a what, what's next. We have to have something to look forward to. I think it's so important now. Don't just say, I'm going to postpone it and do it later. You know, set another day. Keep something focused and in mind. Although it's been tough on business, both Lori and Molly agree that business leaders need to get creative to keep their doors open and make it work. And Lori is used to overcoming setbacks herself. Fans of the show will know that she battled breast cancer in the past and suffered a major fall while filming season 11 of the show. She underwent surgeries and physical therapy. And she recalled that fall during our chat. Take a look. The fall was the craziest thing. And it can just show that accidents happen to all of us and can happen at any given time. I was having the best day. We were having so much fun. We're shooting the intro and a train is left on the floor with, and it's got a sequin underlay with tool on top. And I didn't see it. It matched the color of our floor and I just smacked on my face. And I broke both wrists, had nine pins in one, broke my nose, broke three ribs. I mean, just in a matter of a second. And then I passed out on top of it all. And well, Molly, I, mean, I felt so bad. My son was here. I'm in the ambulance. I said, do not tell Molly. She, of course, she's on vacation. She rushes home. And, uh, you know, my husband, I mean, it, they were just all so concerned. And, you know, it, to me, it makes you prioritize, prioritize life to see what's important as we are doing now with the COVID. You know, we're stopping and we're taking time to realize how important family is to us and to live your passion. You know, what matters to you? It gave me a lot of time to reflect because I couldn't even move. I was helpless. I was um, on spring break with my daughters and husband, got on the next plane and was there brushing her teeth, helping her out. By the way, I'm not a great nurse. You probably terrible. saw that. I don't have to go to Wait, don't Laura, you said she's dad. terrible? <laughs> Daddy's brushing her teeth, but she's like, I, like, I can't my all, face, honey. <laughs> I commend all healthcare workers because, like, it just takes a really strong stomach. It really does. <laughs> really strong stomach that I do not have. But I loved being able to be there for her. I was really thankful. And I also handle her PR and her social media, so just the outpouring of love and support really was overwhelming. It was so sweet. You know, the day that I came home from the hospital after this big wrist surgery, I'm in the front seat. Molly is in the back seat with my barf bag throwing up the whole way home. That's oh. how the nursing went down, let me tell you. <gasps> well, it's, you know, it's the effort that counts, Molly. <laughs> you were there, the Molly support. She's like, you're making me so nauseated. <laughs> Lori is also launching her debut book called Say Yes to What's Next to empower women approaching 50 and beyond who may feel like they want to give their lives a little makeover. She says that inspiration for the book came once she turned 60. I don't know where people are like, well, when are you going to retire? And it just took me by shocked. I'm like, what? And they're like, well, when are you going to retire? Have you thought about retiring? When are you going to retire? And I'm like, why is that a given with females past mm -hmm. a certain age? 
you know what I don't think you would be asking that of a man and why are you asking that of me now you know and so that got me to just looking at the media and you know just thinking about this whole thing and I'm like you know there's no advertisements for women over 60 you know we're just like a forgotten demographic we're supposed to just go away and really the book is geared for actually for women over 45 and but I think it holds true to any woman it's to take stock of your life I love it's such a great perspective and thank you so much for calling out the ageism the sexism because that is something I feel as a woman that it's just you're not treated the same and I'm so happy that you're doing this and calling it out Molly you must be so proud of your mom do you have a favorite chapter because you helped write the book as well right I did I did my mom called me with the idea for the book and we're always bouncing creative ideas off of each other but when I specifically heard this idea I was so excited this is the perfect platform for her because she always has been such a motivator to women including myself and writing this book together, I learned a lot about my mom. I think my mom probably cried more during the process of writing this book than I've ever seen her cry in years before. <laughs> and I'm not a big crier, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, she's not a big crier at all, but she let herself be really vulnerable and raw in this process. The book is not all roses. It talks about things that were really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of people will be able to relate to that. You know, my mom had to go through the trenches to come out the other side and really embrace and live the life that she does today. Lori's book is full of ideas for women to better their lives. But I wanted to know what is Lori's biggest piece of advice for women who want to rediscover their best selves? I think my biggest piece of advice is to just stop just stop and be quiet and this corona has caused us to be a little bit more quiet but stop and slow down be quiet and take stock of your life do you love you do you love who you are do you love what you're doing i think a really good question and i've asked myself this i mean in my final days am i going to look back with regrets am i going to feel like that i lived a meaningful purposeful life to the end because when you get to this last quarter of this cookie I call it a cookie and you, know, you know and you get to this last quarter past 45 or whatever you know I think that part needs to be as meaningful as the other three quarters part of this cookie so that's my best advice for you just wow. stop talk. No, I mean, this is inspiring me because now I want to take stock and really <laughs> rediscover who I am. <laughs> She's so wonderful. For more of Lori Allen's tips and humor, pre-order her book, Say Yes to What's Next, available on July 14th, wherever books are sold.